If you're looking for help fixing your insignia dryer, look no further. Our comprehensive insignia dryer troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Dryer does not start. Confirm that the child lock is not on. Make sure the dryer door is closed completely. If you opened the door during the drying cycle, press the start pause button again. Make sure that the power cord is plugged into a working electrical outlet. Check the circuit breaker and fuses for your dryer's electrical connection. Dryer does not heat or does not dry. Your dryer may have moved into the cool down process of the cycle. This is normal. Select a cycle other than air fluff and a temperature setting that is not no heat. Do not overload your dryer. Depending on the size of your washer, one wash load should equal one dry load. Dry heavy items and lightweight items separately. If you are drying large, bulky items, like blankets or comforters, try repositioning the load to ensure even drying. The load may be too small to tumble correctly. Add a few towels. Clean the lint filter and exhaust duct. Check the circuit breaker and fuses for your dryer's electrical connection. Make sure that the outside exhaust hood opens and closes freely. Check the exhaust system for lint buildup. Ducting should be inspected and cleaned annually. Make sure that your exhaust duct is a four rigid metal duct. Dryer is noisy. It is normal for your dryer to hum due to the high velocity of air moving through the dryer drum and exhaust system. Check the load for objects. Like coins, loose buttons, nails, or broken zippers. Remove these items. Make sure that your dryer is level. Clothes are unevenly dried. Seams, pockets, and other similarly heavy areas may not be completely dry when the rest of the load has reached the selected dryness level. This is normal. Select the more or very dryness level if desired. If you dry one heavy item with a lightweight load such as one towel with sheets, the heavy item may not be completely dry when the rest of the load has reached the selected dryness level. For best drying results, dry heavy items and lightweight items separately. Dryer shuts off before clothes are dried. The dryer load is too small. Add more items or a few towels and restart the cycle. The dryer load is too large. Remove some items and restart the cycle. Dryer has an odd odor. Your dryer draws air from the surrounding room air. Household odors from paint, varnish, strong cleaners, and so forth, may enter your dryer with the surrounding room air. This is normal. When these odors linger in the air, ventilate the room completely before using your dryer. Odor remains in clothing even after washing. Fabrics containing strong odors should be rewashed utilizing desired wash cycle. Clothing is still wrinkled after using the wrinkle prevent setting. Small loads of 1 to 4 items work best. If the dryer load is too large, items cannot tumble freely. Try loading fewer items. Make sure that the items in the dryer load are similar. The wrinkle prevent setting works best when the items in the dryer load are similar type items. There is lint on the clothing. Check pockets thoroughly before washing and drying clothes. Things like paper or tissue can break up into small pieces that turn into lint. Clean the lint filter before every cycle. Some loads that produce high amounts of lint can clog the filter. Some fabrics are lint producers like a fuzzy white cotton towel and they should be dried separately from clothes that are lint trappers like a pair of black linen pants. Divide larger loads into smaller loads for drying. 